hi guys this is by Rizalo again and for today's video it's going to be a fun tutorial because this is one thing that I uh, discover and from then on I'm like using it all the time I'm going to teach you guys how to get the typewriter effect on your iMovie I've been wanting to um, know this for so long and I only find out how to do it um, few months ago when I started a new channel so I'm going to share it to you guys so if you guys are interested please stay tuned okay so let's start guys okay so from your desktop go find your keynote okay and then these are the theme that you can use so just because we're just going to do the typewriter effect so we're just going to uh, pick any um, theme so let's just pick this one okay and then um, we're going to just uh, write something, anything. So let's just say, I'm going to remove this one because we don't need it. So to remove it, you just tap it, double tap it. I'm just going to type something. Let's just say, this tutorial is all about typewriter effect on iMovie, for example. Okay? So there, so um, if you want to change the font and everything like that, it's everything is under the text. So like say, for example, so you're always going to highlight it, okay? And then you change what do you want um, for the font, uh, how big is your font? And so maybe I'm just gonna make it small for now. Okay, so I'll leave with that. And then what color, uh, what um, style. If you guys want me to do a simple, uh, basic keynote tutorial, then let me know. So, but this one is not about that. So let's not confuse ourselves. So, so yeah, so that's, it's all that. Then to get that um, typewriter effect, we are now going to um, animate. So you can see that there's format animate document okay so we go to the animate and then you can see built in action built out so you just press add effect under your built build in and then it said here none so we're going to choose typewriter because that's what we want to get as an effect so choose typewriter okay so as you can see it type by itself it gives you the preview but because but if you notice it's too fast because the duration and direction is too fast. So you got to adjust it, meaning um, put it a little bit uh, longer, like increase it until you um, achieve the speed that you want. So to see it, you can just press preview if you think that's good enough. Okay, so that is kind of so slow. So you can just adjust up and down with that icon. You can see that there is um, going up and going down icon. So let's preview this again and let's see if this is good enough. Okay, so I think that's good enough. So I'm good with that. So now, how are you going to save it so that we can use it in our um, iMovie? So to save it, go File and then Export. Okay, but because you want it, you want to get the typewriter effect, you want it to be movie. So as you can see, PDF, PowerPoint, movie, animated GIF, images, HTML, Keynote. So you want it movie, so movie. Okay, and then it will uh, give all these uh, options. Okay, so uh, just go next. And then we title it, like say for example, typewriter effect okay and then we export all right and then it should be there so let's see okay okay so it's right there okay so let's see if this uh, works on the iMovie okay so I have this in here already so let's bring it into our timeline okay okay so as you guys can see uh, it's there however we can cut it until it start okay so here and then if you play there right which is kind of cool and then you can just cut it if you um don't need it anymore but for me i kind of let it have like a little bit of you know like the people will read it 
um, even after that, that typewriter effect. So it has that window that the, um, um, your viewer can actually finish reading just in case that it's too fast for them. So yeah, so that's it. And if you want the typewriter sound effect, then you can just get it from the um, iMovie itself, from audio. But some people, um, they actually use music, so they don't mind anyway. It's just like I do in my other channel. But um, as you can see, it's under sound effects, and then you have the typewriter electric. But note that this is only um, five seconds. So if your um, typewriter... Um, effect is longer than five seconds then I guess you just have to keep on bringing down and bringing down and something like that until you get that um, that length of typewriter effect on your text. Um, I hope that you guys like it and if you guys want me to do a tutorial for any other effect in Keynote then let me know and I'm more than willing to uh, do a sh short tutorial uh, but that's all guys and see you next time bye